Hello YouTube viewers and welcome to part 2 of the Phase 3 double gauge layout extension project of Ballon Parkway. I'm just in this series going to go through the baseball construction from start to finish. So this is the first stage which this is a larger piece of baseball, the first one I've done. Basically I've got ply, uh, hardwood plywood. It's two full throw Sorry, take again. 244 uh, millimeters in length by 607 millimeters in width, with a thickness of 5.5 millimeter. So basically, if I just turn this over, I've built a frame for the plywood to mount on. So the frame here is kiln dried sawed, sawn softwood, um, 2.4 meters in length. And we're looking at so we've got the measurement here. We're looking at two centimeters in width. That's a good thickness to mount this frame on. So basically, there's a frame right around the edges, and I've put in the middle and each side these struts. And this will secure the baseboard to stop it warping, hopefully, because I do get a little bit of damp in here. In fact, you can see where it's dripped overnight here with the condensation we've had recently. It's not too bad, but it's this time of year, it's the worst. Also here, what I've done is drilled some small holes and sawn them out, chiseled them out, uh, about a sort of millimetre in depth by a couple of millimetres, three millimetres, sorry, a centimetre in depth by about three centimetres in width. That is to feed the wires through, the electrical wires, to keep it neat and tidy uh, as, as possible. So basically, uh, I'm going to feed the wires to the points and the life feed for the track, etc. So, <coughs> on here, I've uh, Evo sticked and uh, screwed these struts down, all the way down. Uh, this is pretty good wood adhesive actually. It's either thick wood uh, adhesive interior. It's very strong stuff, but obviously you need to screw that down as well. So I'll just flip this over. So back over there. So I'll put plenty of screws down here to keep it sturdy. So hopefully that won't warp. So if you're building a layout, either starting or extending like I am, you have to build a strong frame, especially in the conditions I've got here in the garage. Um, I know people just put a straight on a baseboard and they warp, even in the loft. So plenty of good fixings, even the side here, I've uh, screwed the little joist in the middle. So that's the first stage of the baseboard. I've done another one here, smaller one. Just pull this out. That's turned on to the end of this one. So I'm going to probably do a few more of these little ones. I say again the same principle. Just one strut in there with a hole in, and one each side. And it's quite sturdy. So I'll take you on to okay, the next now phase. I'll put the legs on the baseboard, the longest one. I put five legs on here, and I'll show you. You're probably saying, why is he put five, not six? Well, I'll show you what we're going to do later. But these are very secure. What I've used out of interest is this small angle bracket it's called a brace um, shrinkage brace 33 by 25 mil uh, these are from Wix but they secure the um, legs in quite well and obviously they are screwed into the side here to keep it secure as well the screws I've used these are side ones of a three mil and the thicker ones are these ultra gold um, 4.0 by 35 mil screws um, these are countersunk so they fit quite well in here but you've got to secure your feet your legs so that's quite sturdy, as you can see. Okay, the first section is up on its legs, 
And there's a bit more fitting to do, which I'll take you through. And obviously the backdrop ply board's got to go on, which will be uh, the next section. Just an additional fitting to get the board stable, the baseboards. I fitted these uh, strips of wood, there'll be three down each row. 110 centimetres in length I've cut them to. Drill two holes in and attach them to the uh, screw that are sticking out for the uh, panels on the garage. Uh, I've attached them with these washers that fit their M8 size. Just turn that one up and I'll screw a bracket to that to the baseboard as well. That will also give it extra security so it doesn't wobble. Um, just helps the board more stable uh, under construction basically. So when it's done I'll uh, just attach a little bracket to that. So it'll be three down this, this row and three down the other. Where I've joined two of the boards together Underneath, I've drilled a couple of holes and attached these two bolts. Let's go out of focus, sorry about that. Uh, to join them together, it secures the boards and make them level as well. And they're attached on the other side by some washers, um, wing nuts, sorry, some washers and some wing nuts. And that secures the two boards together. And if ever need to take them apart, just undo the wing nuts rather than screw them together. Uh, these are 80 mil in length, attached by a wing nut. Get these from Wix, very easy to do. Drill a hole in there, a couple of holes, and you can see it lines up really well. Makes that more secure, stops it rattling around. And if need be, doing any work in there, you need to take it apart for some reason. You just whip off the uh, wing nut, take the bolts out, and do your work on okay, it. Okay, I've now completed uh, some board in the back. This is for the back scenes to be mounted on. I've got to varnish this, so this is going to be varnished. I've gone for the ID back scene premium range uh, self adhesive, which is made of material called polypropylene which doesn't scratch or tear, which is better yeah, in the condition of the garage I've got here, where the layout is. So, I've got to varnish this. And um, away okay, we go. Okay, the backboard for the back scene's been varnished. The reason I've done this is because the back scene um, material will stick better rather than plain wood. This was a tip I got from uh, Dave Class 47 on YouTube who has the Dean Park double gauge layout, Scottish layout, which is excellent. And um, I asked him how he did his, because prior to that, before I saw this phase three, I just used quite sort of thinner board, which seems to bow a bit, and paper as well. Problem being in here is I've got snails coming in the garage, and they ate some of it, so I've got to change that at some stage, and it's stained a little bit as well. So, this new material, probably pro propylene, is supposed to be more resistant. So we'll give that a bash. The ones I'm going to use here are Hills and Dales, pack A, and I've got a pack B for the, for the further up the layout as well. Um, just one small thing here, uh, the gap. Between the two, I'll just try and find an idea to fill that. Could tape over it and then put the back scene over that. I'll see what I can do just to fill that little gap there. But uh, this side's almost done, ready for action. Okay, this side is, as I said earlier, completed. So it's got the boards down, ready to go for the layout on this side. Just taking about two, three weeks to construct. Nearly done the other side, which is a bit of a mess at the moment. But um, it's very sturdy, which you need. I'm going to work outside in, so I'm going to put the back scenes on first, because that before I put them on afterwards, and it was a bit of a messy job. So I'm going to work the other way around this time. As I say, you learn through experience. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just give you a view of the length, which is quite a lot, 12 foot. 
So um, this is mainly going to be sidings, but I'll go through that in the next video. I'll produce. Okay, the left-hand side baseboard is almost completed. Just a minor thing that's going to be done on here. Um, got the back board fitted as well. Just screwed in there for the back scene. Got to be varnished. Put the bolts in to make it more level underneath. And that's come out really well. It's taken about three or four weeks to complete these two boards. About three and a half weeks. Um, that's basically probably a couple of hours, an hour a night. And not even that sometimes, so I've done quite well really. Um, <clears throat> this bit's not done here yet for the backboard. The reason being I've got to relocate this double socket uh, further down below the board. This is obstructing where I'd fit the next baseboard here. Uh, also, there's a consumer unit for the garage here. Uh, that'll be cut round, unfortunately, but it's not obstructing too much of the back scene. But I shall have to cut round the back scene board to get around that. Um, too much of an issue moving that, really, I think. Uh, just cut round that and fit another back scene board here and put a back scene up. Let's see where it joins onto the uh, layout. It's getting ready for preparation now.